Reverend Chris Jimenez, I'm um, interim pastor of Lombard Central Presbyterian Church, and I'm the faith community organizer for the Close Creek, Creek the Cam Close the Creek campaign. And why is Close the Creek campaign so important to you? One, because I'm a formerly incarcerated person. Uh, I've been home now a little over 23 years and off supervision for 19 years. And basically, this campaign means something to me because I was a resident of Close the Creek at one time. You know, and of, of, of the Creek of House Corrections at one time when it was falling apart then 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, and it's still falling apart even more now. Um, but this particular that we're out here today on no risk assessments, you know, the, the reason that we're against the algorithm replacing cash bail, I mean, we want to see a cash bill in, but we also want to see it not be replaced with risk assessments simply because someone like me, if I, ha if I were happen to be rearrested, uh, you know, on some new charges, even though my old charges are more than 25 years old, um, and I haven't been in any kind of trouble since then, I would be, under the algorithm, I'd be considered high risk just simply because I'm a Latino male. I live in Southwest Philly, which is a high crime neighborhood, and uh, you know I'm formerly incarcerated. So I would be at high risk under the system, and probably no matter what the charge is, I probably would not be released you know, on, on, on bail or on my own recognizance. And that's a problem. Yeah, that's a definite problem. That's gonna add to mass incarceration. No, that's, this is not going to take away from the numbers, this is going to add to the numbers because it un, unfairly reflects you know, African Americans and Latinos and, it un, and un, also unfairly reflects anyone who has a criminal history or just happens to live in a high crime neighborhood. I think at this point we really want to see you know, the city commit to, uh, um, commit, to a, commit to something that is actually going to make a difference. You know, we, we already know that they're, they're looking at like, this, like the California bill and um, that was just passed that's going to add a lot more to the incarceration system than, uh, you know, into the prison system that are, that are in there now. Um, even though they want to call it a progressive win for, you know, for, um, for ending cash bail. But as much reform as we're doing, we want to see individuals, you know, be able to have a fair shot at a, at, at a defense. And you cannot prepare for your own defense on the inside. Different, different it's mentality. Hard. It, 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 it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is because we walk on everything else. It's a challenge. So, I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built for this. I think that we all have a purpose in life. And mine is going to take on a task that most of us. Away back from, away from that impossible, that impossible. So people, people say it's impossible, I see, I see possibilities. I don't see anything, I don't see anything as being impossible. Mentality, mentality, there are there are different mentalities, but just like just there's like different there's different ways to teach people how to there's read, different there's different ways to communicate. SB942! 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 Beautiful, y'all some beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you for coming out today.